So this is just gonna be a real short video for the Trezor one that looks at how to uh, do a few simple things like to do a factory reset of the device if you forget your pin, how to do the dry run recovery, that is how to verify that the seed in here is the same as what is on your backup, uh, and also how to enter an existing seed phrase into the device, how to restore it onto there. Uh, and also just be looking at the difference between the standard and the advanced recovery, which does matter for the Trezor one, especially if you have a 12 word seed. The actual process for uh, entering the seed words into the device is the same for both uh, dry run recovery and for the actual recovery. So I'll just be quickly showing you how to uh, initiate both processes and then just doing a quick run through uh, of what that actually looks like. And if you haven't already done so, hit subscribe. Now you can stay in the loop about content I make to help you stay safe in the crazy and often hostile environment that is cryptocurrency. The standard recovery process for Trezor is very fast and it is actually quite secure. The one thing you really, really, really need to be aware of though is if you only have a 12 word seed, not a 24 word seed, every time you enter it in, it not only scrambles the words, but it will inject uh, some extra random words so it looks like you've got a full 24 word seed. But the thing is that the extra words that it picks each time are completely random. So if you have a 12 word seed and do either a standard recovery or say a dry run recovery as few as two times on the same computer that was compromised, uh, someone could actually work out what the 12 words of your seed were and then just descramble those. Because with a 24 word seed, if someone has all 24 of your words but doesn't know the order, then they can't actually do anything with that. Uh, it'll still take thousands of years to brute force. Whereas if someone has a 12 word seed, even if they don't know the order of your words, they can be unscrambled in a trivially short amount of time. The reality is if you have a 24 word seed, either of them are fine, but if you have a 12 word seed, then you really need to stick to the advanced recovery process. What I'm gonna do in this video is just uh, restore the seed using the standard recovery and then check the recovery seed using the advanced recovery. So if you've forgotten your pin, uh, the process for a Trezor T is pretty straightforward. So you basically wanna hold down the two buttons at the same time as you plug it in, and this will put it into bootloader mode. And as you can see here over on the Trezor website, uh, basically we can just reset the device. And uh, again, the big warning, if you don't have your seed backed up uh, or anything like this, you will not be able to recover your funds. So we'll just wipe this one. So if you have reset the device, you will need to install the firmware. That'll take a minute. And there you go. So once it's done, uh, it says you can unplug your Trezor, plug it back in, and you are good to go. What we're gonna say, if we already have a seed, is we're going to just recover the wallet. And uh, unlike the Trezor T, this one will happen both in your browser and on the device. Now, I'm just gonna use this seed here, which I've used in a number of videos. So we'll just say continue. If you have used a passphrase, you can check that here, but you can always turn that on and off later. So here we go. So now it gives us the instructions. We say, yes, we wanna do this on the device. So you can see here now the Trezor is telling us to enter the third word on your computer. It's kidney. Okay, so now you can see here, it's asking us to enter a word that is not on this list. Uh, again, just to make sure that if someone was key logging everything on our computer that they still wouldn't be able to steal our funds. And there we go. So and that's restore the wallet and you can see all the transactions uh, that were there before are there now. So if you want to verify the seed to make sure that what you've got written down here is correct or maybe you have multiple uh, seed cards and you're not entirely sure which one corresponds to here, uh, the process is that's pretty easy. You just log on to the wallet click on the device, go to advanced, and you just say check recovery seed. Uh, we're gonna say advanced recovery, and we're gonna say continue, and then what's gonna ask for the pin. Okay, this keypad here corresponds to this set of nine options here. So for the first word, we're gonna say ocean. So we're just gonna click that once, and then you can see that's changed. And now we want OC, so that's O8, okay, that's the middle one. And then it starts with OC, that's this option here. And we can see it is this option, Ocean. So there you go, first word done. And there we go. And what you're looking for is this message here saying the seed is valid and it matches what is in the device. So it will tell you if the seed you've entered is valid, but is different to what is in the device, which again can be useful if you want to just verify that something's valid. Uh, and again, if when you're doing this, you find there are any words on 
your card that you absolutely cannot find in the device. And uh, even if you check the BIP39 word list and can't find that word, then you have a typo on your seed phrase sheet in that uh, the Trezor will only have given you a word that is part of the word list. And uh, the good thing about that is if you have that kind of error in your seed, they're actually quite easy to identify and fix using something like BTC Recover. So there you go, that's the process of how to recover your wallet and do a verification on a Trezor One. And it's important that you're familiar with what this process looks like, because again, anything at all that asks you to enter your seed in any way other than what you've just seen here is 100% scam. You will never be asked to enter your seed into a piece of software, a website or anything else like that, other than uh, using these methods that I've just shown you here. Thanks for watching, I hope that was helpful. Hit like if you think that other people would find this video useful and hit subscribe if you'd like to be kept in the loop about future content I make that helps people stay safe in the crypto space and to recover if they get into trouble. If you have any questions about this video or a topic that you'd like me to cover, just leave a reply.